taiko drumming is an ancient art that came from Japan. It uh, goes back to the 6th century. It's used for um, uh, a variety of things, ritualistic expression, military uh, exercises, uh, celebrations, uh, forms of religious worship. Um, and we have here with us today the members of Stanford Taiko, which is a highly elite group that goes through an arduous um, audition process and uh, they are part of the music department. We're so delighted that these students would join us today and uh, share their talents uh, from this art form that, did I say, goes back to the sixth century. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Stanford Tycho. Stanford Tiger Drummers. Civil rights activist James Weldon Johnson wrote Lift Their Voice and Sing as a poem, which was set to music by his brother John Roseman Johnson in 1899. The song is now known as the Black National Anthem in America. It is a protest, a hymn, and a prayer of profound significance for our people. 
We lift every voice and sing to express ourselves. We lift every voice to show that we have strength in numbers and we will not be silent. We lift every voice and sing to be lifted, liberated, and free. Freedom, the power to determine action without restraint. Freedom, the absence of or release from ties, obligations, or restrictions. Freedom, the ease or facility of movement or action. Freedom, frankness or boldness in manner or speech. Freedom, a political right. Until we are all free, none of us is free. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmonies
Hello, everyone. How are you? Wait, you, you guys just spent a couple hours talking about changing the world. I think we, we, can do a, we can do a little better than that. How are we doing? Okay. Perfect. So uh, my name is Shaka Campbell. Uh, I am the new Santa Clara County. Well, let me, let me take that backwards. I am the first African-American Santa Clara, Santa Clara County uh, Poet Laureate. Uh, thank you. And um, first, I'm, I'm honored to be here uh, to, to share this space with you. Uh, I am going to do a poem. It is called Love Letter to the Aftermath. Um, and it's basically a little snapshot into sort of how I got through the last couple, the last couple years when we were sort of, I was, as we were in the middle of it, um, just how I saw things around me. I'll caveat by saying I'm a poet, not a singer, so there's that. Sun up in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by. And then there was the outside left empty. It was a retreat from the asphalt, the, to the tools, and the roads had eaten themselves. And only then could we hear the language the outside sung to its young. The yawn of the day breaking into dewdrops like a secret that couldn't be tamed. And we saw how the leaves, how the leaves danced now that they've shed their human husks. How they play fought with the wind again and again, falling into a portrait of untethered landscape attached to nothing but themselves. Meanwhile, you and I, our bodies became a house of windows looking for a new view of the world and aching to end the silence. But there's a new dawn, there's a new day, it's a new life for me. The anxiety was fair. The opposite of grace comes as quiet grabs the air around me at night. I can hear my bones contract, my eyes empty, not from the lack of light, but to familiar my mind on how to navigate the darkness, then came the terror more and more, a sharpened scalpel cut leaks, a narrative, a global nightmare sung in the key of naught, and then, then a stolen life, and then another, and then another, and then multiplied in its own image, a molted plight filled with limits. There's no end in sight, it's no gimmick. There's many bodies laid dead despite the laws prohibit touch and breath, yet, yet atop a pale horse. A movement haunted to sleep sees scenes bleed into themselves like take one. A taser bears the face of death. Take two, tweak to defibrillate back to black. Take three, what's left when the police remove the A and E from blame is a movement meant to reclaim the color back to breathing in the day, the day. The day is the place where the demons thread their religion into the screams no one heard and it hurt. It hurt, and they asked me, how do, you, how do you silent the noise? It must be deafening, and I say as if they care, as if the reach of gunpowder will not surface my skin with each venture into the undecided climate of whether I matter. So I tell them, I tell them my poem. I tell them that I write. I write because you can't murder ink. But the truth is, it's the only way to ensure the bullets have exit wounds. But it's a new day. It's a new dawn, it's a new life for me. And I'm choosing us, us. We are choosing human. Flawed we are, and as such, any attempt to time travel would destroy us, so we live for today. So after the, after the normal settle and the earth fingers its roots back together to drink and nourish, we will tighten our hugs because we choose to. Because the space beneath us heaves when we are hummingbird to flower unsheathed. We are toddlers again, learning how to split hairs into creation stories. We, we are myths in sync to drown out the uncultivated clutter we held in our tongues during these heartbreaking months. We are better than this thing that was given to us without wanting, without peril. We will not look over the precipice to purpose. So, so this rebellion blood... 
This rebellion blood that gallops our veins is in every stride we gain closer to the we we were and are in this is us and as us we readied by brimstone will not be statues and gargoyles. We will not be dust perched and romanced with time. See the bouquet of thorns to which the world planted at our feet is testimony that we will commit the need to protect our beautiful, our beautiful, your beautiful, and your beautiful, and your beautiful, and we will feed it. And our breasts hungry will devour our love and we will fill together in this drunken gaze when its face is revealed and the pandemic passed. We will ride this ghost till its skeleton breaks, till it conjures and chants us into a spell of wishes that deserve our magic, our human magic. We are stronger than the menu of outcomes this year allowed us to pluck life from, and we together are more because we choose it. Because in an echo of yesterday, a slip past midnight, we speak our names, even the ones already gone. Each letter falling out of our mouths like snowflakes, aching for summer, like melted tongues wrestling through lips only meant for angels. And we will turn to each other and say that we wish to be free of these things that made us who we were then. And some will say, so that means the weight of the pandemic is carried in our roots and others will respond. So this then is something we cannot escape from and our hearts will smile. Our hearts will smile and those with questions still on their tongues will receive the light of a dying galaxy trapped in a kiss. And it will disappear into their heartbreaks like a coddled storm to let the fear in them know that we, we are eternity. And together we will turn those stars and those scars to nostalgia and show ourselves how to heal. Birds are flying high, you know how I feel. Sun up in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much.